Former Skid Row frontman Sebastian Bach has apparently had a change of heart on the subject of backing tracks. Now, this was the most contentious issue in rock music last year, and Sebastian Bach was directly involved in this. Now, for those of you who don't remember this, he got into a real heated back and forth with Falling in Reverse frontman Ronnie Radke, and this all went down on Twitter, and it started when Falling in Reverse had to cancel a show, and that was because their laptops had gone missing. Now, this is a band that incorporates a lot of electronic elements, a lot of hip-hop elements, and they have a big production. They have a video wall, typically, and so the show got canceled, and there were a lot of, I would say, older musicians and figures in rock music that were sort of mocking this, and uh, anybody who knows anything about live shows, it is extremely common for people to use laptops to make their shows work for a variety of reasons, the use of backing tracks aside. And so um, you had a real contentious back and forth, just a little bit of a refresher. You had Sebastian Bach tweeting this, wow, dummy, are you trying to say that you believe that I use tracks on stage? How effing funny is this? Watch what happens when track bands call real musicians idiots. But again, now we apparently have a change of heart from Sebastian Bach, who feels as though he doesn't have a problem with backing tracks, as long as you're old enough to get the senior discount at Carl's Jr. or Hardee's, depending on where you live. If you're over the age of 70, Sebastian Bach apparently doesn't have a problem with that. This was apparently related to the band Kiss, who is rumored to be using backing tracks during their shows. And there are some videos on social media about this. There's been a lot of talk about this also relative to Motley Crue, who denies that they use backing tracks. But uh, this is what he had to say. And, and you know, I mean, I honestly agree with him on this opinion. I just think that, quite frankly, every other genre of music is using technology in their shows one way or another. And I am not endorsing lip syncing. I do not endorse lip syncing, but if you have some backup vocals that are piped in behind real vocals, real guitars, things like that, I don't necessarily have an issue with that. I am not pro lip syncing though. But uh, this is what he said at a fan expo. Now he talked to Sink and Stanley uh, on YouTube, who was apparently at this expo and asked him his opinion on backing tracks and maybe as they relate to the band Kiss. He said, my position on that is that if you are in your 70s, if you're 72 and you got to put on foot high monster boots and Godzilla costume and hook yourself into wires and fly to the top of the roof and sing a guy in that age, I don't really have a problem with a guy that's in his 70s or 80s that might use the technology to give us a show. I can't imagine my mom, who's 81, can't imagine her breathing fire and spitting blood. Well, I can imagine the spitting blood part, but I don't mind the technology being used for its proper thing like an old dude giving a show, trying his best. But he's old, right? What do I have an effing problem with? Excuse my language here, but you know who you're talking to here. I don't like when I have an opening band who's 23 and they have the whole show on a click track and the background vocals are going. You can tell so easily, it's easy. I'm not saying I'm the greatest singer and you can hear it on my YouTube. I don't always sing great, nobody does. Newsflash, not everybody sings perfect every single show. That's not what rock and roll is. You have good nights, you have bad nights. You can't tell me about using tapes in a video. I know who's doing it. I know who's not. If you want to sit down and watch the video with me and tell me that you're not using tapes, I will tell you that you're full of shit because I don't use tapes. And if you do, I'm not going to pretend that you are on the same level. He says, I've seen Kiss about four or five times and they're still the greatest rock show in the world because Kiss, there's no show that has the excitement of Kiss. When the lights go down and the bass goes, boom, and they hit the stage. Uh, if Kiss were in their 20s, I would not like them to use tapes. Or if they were like an athlete one day and they say, one day I want to be a rock star, and then they get up there and do jumping jacks and have a tape going, I've got a problem with that. I don't have a problem with the 75-year-old man giving me a show he's always given. We're not, as fans, dicks. We should pay respect to a guy like Paul Stanley for everything he's done his whole life. Being of that age and giving us a KISS show, I feel sorry for people that don't go to a KISS show. It's your loss. So this is obviously a pretty contentious subject, and I think there's a lot of people that conflate the use of full-blown lip syncing to maybe some backing choir-style vocals or maybe 
um, you know, some synths or things like that. I have absolutely no problem with that. And I think if you go to other genres, that is pretty much the standard at this point. I do not support the primary sounds that you hear. I do not support the primary. If you're if, if you're hearing a guitar clear as day through the speakers and it's not the real guitar being played on stage, I'm not cool with that. But if, if you've got some layers behind that are, you know, turned down and enhance the experience for the audience, I don't have a problem with that. The problem is, folks, there's nuance. Backing tracks does not mean lip syncing. It doesn't necessarily mean lip syncing. It, it could mean backing layers. So you have to kind of get to the root of what exactly is going on with that. But as always, folks, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy my outfit. I got some new outfits for uh, Blue Ridge Rock Festival, which I'm going to. We're going to be shooting some cool podcasts there as well. Got a lot of exciting content coming up. So uh, let me know what you think of my outfit here. I mean, I think these are pretty, pretty badass, if you ask me. I mean, look at this. That's that's awesome. So uh, let me know, y'all, and uh, be sure to subscribe, as always, to Rockfeed for the latest news and updates.